McRib sus. I put the on everything. And apparently so do you. We are making several of your suggestions from the Facebook group today. What do you love to do with the McRib sauce? I'll show you. Here we go. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is Dylan. And this is Reeves. And I invented the McRib sauce and it has taken the internet by storm. We have another video where we make it into a McRib's wrap, like a hamburger wrap that's only 10 minutes. But you guys have taken this idea and ran with it and you're putting it on everything and I love to see it. They love the McRib sauce so much that they now call you McRibs. <laughs> and I didn't even name the sauce. I did not name it after me, you guys. It, but the name is funny. It was our viewers during the live cooking show that named it, hey? <laughs> yeah. We're gonna take three people's ideas and turn them into a really tasty McRib salad. Ooh. What do you think of that? I love it. Let's get to making a batch of the McRib sauce. If you haven't heard of this, you have. But you should definitely check out this video where we made the McRib sauce on a whole hamburger wrap without making burger patties. We just captured all the the delicious flavors of a hamburger, so definitely check that out. Now we're gonna make a batch and we're gonna do some wacky stuff, something different with it, because it turns out everybody is using the McRib sauce for a million other things, and that's great, I love it. Cashews that I've just been soaking in a little bit of water, that is kind of our base, the creaminess, and our other base would be ketchup. The Well Your World ketchup is right here available for you. Get our no salt, oil, or sugar added ketchup at our store, you can use it for this, or you can use any ketchup. We also were thinking about using our sriracha to make it, and we're gonna throw in some of our Well Your World nutritional yeast. It's non-fortified, it's delicious, the best price. A little paprika too, throwing that in. And if people are wondering what does this sauce taste like, well, it's kinda like a Thousand Island or a fry sauce, some people call it. Green onion going in the tank, that's gonna give it a little bit of oniony flavor. You could use a, a little piece of yellow onion. You could use onion powder if you want to, whatever. A little bit of Dijon mustard. Ketchup and mustard? You know it, it's burger time. One half a lemon, don't miss a drop. When you don't use salt, lemon tastes great to make Heck dishes yeah. just zing. You gotta have actual food flavors for things to taste good when you eat like us. All right, let's blend this up. Just a little batch. Don't be afraid to make a triple batch of McReebs. It keeps well in the fridge and it sounds like people are using it, so it won't keep for long, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Let's get it in the jar. I got my little spatula here. Don't miss a drop. Okay, let's have a little taste. Oh, that's good. Reeves, didn't you say we should be making a cheese sauce? Wasn't one of our viewers' ideas to use some cheese sauce on a salad too? Yeah, they called it a Mac Daddy Bowl because it had McReeb sauce and Well Your World cheese sauce. Okay, we're doing it. All right, let's get to making a simple cheese sauce using the Well Your World mix. I'm gonna make like two cups-ish. I'm adding boiling water so that it's hot and I'm putting the water in first so that not everything gets jammed down in the blades of the blender, you know what I mean? Normally I do this with cashews, just like we have on the label of our cheese sauce a suggested recipe, but Luca cannot take nuts. He can't take nuts to school, so I'm gonna do it with some hemp hearts. Throw those into the bath. Along with that, a little miso paste, give it a little bit of saltiness, maybe just a teaspoon or so. Reeves likes that lemon, so we gotta get another lemon in there. Sometimes I'll add one of those red chili pods just to give it a little spice. I didn't do that here. This just helps to break it up. That's good enough. Now we're gonna start throwing in cheese sauce mix. There's nothing to measure here when you do it this way. Throw in enough cheese sauce to get the desired thickness that you want and it's done. So I can still see it's very watery, so I'll just keep adding cheese sauce mix. Let's throw in a quarter teaspoon of turmeric just to give it an even more yellowy color, you know what I mean? Oh, that is looking scrumptious. Now this might fill up this jar right to the, oh boy. I've never tried the cheese sauce with hemp hearts before, and this will be interesting. Oh my goodness, that is really good. That is excellent, that is one of the best mixes I've made. The hemp hearts really give it an interesting new flavor, I guess. I also love the texture. Okay, my first inspiration came from Brooke. She posted a picture on Instagram where she made a huge salad out of it with just tons of leafy greens, tons of bell pepper, lots of mm. tomatoes, so that could be our base. We've got tons of greens right here. Thanks for the idea, Brooke. I'm just gonna toss a big salad in here, chop this romaine to a little bit smaller, more manageable pieces. Chop it like this. What do you think of that? I think romaine calm, Bill. 
Yeah, bean me up, Scotty, you know what I mean? Get it in the bowl. We got a little kale. I took this kale off the stems, just raw kale. Let's crunch that up. I like kale shredded a little smaller because it is a little chewier, so I don't like huge bites of kale. That'll work. Throw it in. How about a little spinach? I like spinach chopped just slightly, too. These are baby leaves, so they're not so big. A little red bell pepper, you say? No, a lot of red bell pepper. A lot of bell pepper. Cut it into these nice pieces of flesh. Make them long, and then we'll cut them a little shorter. Just turn these puppies. Let's chop, chop. Bite-sized bell pepper. What do you think of that? Maybe one more. Maybe one more. Whole bell pepper? Mm -hmm. Lots of bell pepper. Brooke likes the bell pepper. You could use other peppers, you know. We have some hatch green chilies in the fridge, some poblanos. Well, that'd be fun. Let's do one of those. Here is a mild hatch chili. It's hatch chili season, so we might as well get to using them. We'll cut this baby open, and we'll just do the same thing. Strips. Maybe I'll cut it a little smaller. We got the bell pepper and a little mild green chili in here. Let's do some tomatoes. I'm just going to use my serrated knife, and we'll just kind of half these or maybe quarter them. Are you ready to get to eating this salad? What's going on there, Dill? We got some guitar salad spoons. Let's get to tossing. It is pretty rock and roll to have a delicious big salad. Now, I believe you use the same spoons to serve some salad. Beautiful. Okay, we've got a good base. Yeah, we do. Reebs, what's next? What's the next inspiration from the Facebook group? This one's from Tina. Hey, Tina. She said, calling this my Mac Daddy Bowl, the one with the cheese sauce. Mm -hmm. Well, your world cheese sauce, McReeb sauce, pickles, onions, and tomatoes. She put veggie ground in there. Well, fancy that. I've got a delicious veggie crumble that we recently made on our Moroccan live cooking show. If you don't know about it, you should definitely sign up. Wellyourworld.com slash cooking show. Everything we make comes out on the cooking show first. The McReeb sauce came out there first and we did a delicious Moroccan flavored veggie crumble and I've got leftovers so we're putting it right on the bowl. This is a Moroccan spice blend we put together and then it's got a lot of starches. Sweet potato, beans, some oats, roasted cauliflower chunks. Reebs loves this mix. Oh, so good. So Tina was also the mind behind putting some cheese sauce on there. We got her crumble. We got her veggies. What other inspo? Don in the Facebook group. Hey Don. He did not have any onions handy. So he reconstituted the dried chopped onions and he said it totally was a nostalgic flavor for him. And he also asked us to please make sure to verify that he's not crazy, that it's <laughs> delicious tasting. Well, we are about to taste it, Don, because not a few moments ago, I took a couple tablespoons of chopped dehydrated onion and I threw it in this little ramekin and I just filled it up with some water and I decided to take it up a notch even and throw in a teaspoon or two of galaxy dust to be soaking with these onions. Strain out the water and we'll be left with these reconstituted onions and let's see if Don's right, shall we? Heck yeah. With the galaxy dust, it looks like Mexican rice. I've never thought to do this. This is honestly the first time in my life I've reconstituted onions to be topped onto something like this. I love the idea. Now Don made his into like a salad bowl as well, right? Yeah, and he added pickles too. We got the onions, we got the crumble. Let's get some pickles going. Pickles are salty. Be aware if you're avoiding salt, avoid pickles. I like that you chopped them because you'll get a little pickle in every bite instead yeah. of just like one large surprise pickle. Exactly. You want sort of a condiment flavor all throughout, but still, you know, small amounts. So I like that touch. Nobody did this idea, but I personally would like some avocado. But we're going to put the avocado on top of the sauces. Okay, let's put that on last. All right, we're saucing it live. We're going to drizzle on some cheese sauce like this. I made it like a little thinner so it could drizzle easily. Get the McReebs going, we'll go the other way. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a saucy salad. We might need to call this the extreme. A little avocado, let's not overdo it. We got plenty of richness from those sauces. We don't wanna hide them. Finally something that won't burn my mouth. <laughs> I gotta get a little bite of everything and the sauce. I'm gonna make a mess in my face. Great. Oh wow. Whoa, that veggie crumble. I thought it was gonna be the flavor of the McReeb sauce, like pow, but that veggie crumble like almost stole the show. It's so delicious. You're gonna have to sign up and get that recipe, seriously. I do love having both sauces because it's like one's the cheese slice and the other is the sauce. I'm getting them all too. Mmm, 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 mmm. You're right, this is kick good. Oh, that nice little bite from the pickle 
And those little bits of onion, that is, this is awesome. A tip of the hat to Brooke, Tina, and Don. Thank you for all the great ideas and helping us to come up with what we now call the Mac Daddy Extreme Bowl. So I hope <laughs> you give this one a try. It is really, really good. And if you want more ideas like these, simple, easy recipes, be sure to check our brand new holiday book out. It is full of awesome centerpiece holiday dishes just in time, am I right? We've also got the volume two of our YouTube favorites is just coming out along with them. So get them both. Check out all of our cookbooks if you want really fast, simple, easy recipes that'll help you stick to your plant-based diet forever. Thank you so much for watching this video. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.